Hello all, welcome back to Tricks and Codes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the frontend editor. So what is this frontend editor? I will show you one small example. Let me quickly go to the stack overflow and clicking on the first link. I'm navigating to the ask question. Here in the title tag, I'm giving the C program this is just for reference and clicking next so in this box if i want to add any headings i can able to or if i want to add any bold content or any italic content i can able to or if i want to add any inline code or code blocks or add any links or i want to add any images so let me so let me quickly close that and uh, or if I want to add any tables or any numberings or bullet points I can able to do this here right so why I am showing all this to you so let me not confuse you let me take you to the point so this is basically called as an editor so this editor is actually an user friendly tool which which will help us in adding bold text bullet points images and all those things so that which we have the best user experience to the users from the front end we can use this tool in the blog pages to edit the articles or if you want to uh, build a community page like stack overflow you can definitely need this kind of editors right because these editors will help you in a lot more ways and help your work done easy for the front-end developers and today we are going to deal with this similar kind of editor integration with our reactor project so the editor which we are going to use today is called TinyMC but before we start our video if you are new to this channel and watching our content without subscribing please hit the subscribe button below and like share comment on this video so let's go and begin our video so first we can create an app in the visual studio so for that I am opening the terminal and adding the command called npm create react app the app name I am giving the app name called tinymc editor and it will take some time to actually create the project let's wait for some time okay finally our project got created so let me just navigate to our project with the command cd tinymc editor and clicking enter and here i'm going to start our project using the command called npm start it will take some time to start our project okay if you see here we have successfully built our react project but this is not our goal right we want to actually add the editor to integrate into our react project so for that let's just quickly open a new tab and type tinymc.cloud it will open a tinymc page uh, if you are new to this page click on the get started free or if you have an account already in this just click on the login button it has directly take me to this page but if you are using for the first time it will ask the google account or the email id to sign in use your google account or email id to sign in to this page and now let's just go to the react components react integration tiny mc so here we can able to find this code right i'm just quickly copying this entire code and i'm navigating to the our react with code oh here i forgot to add the project to the visual code let me quickly add this project 
I am clicking on the open folder and selecting the project TinyMC and click on the select folder it will open in the visual studio and uh, it will give a pop-up click on yes I trust the other and navigate to the SRC folder and here I am quickly creating a component folder and uh, after that I am actually creating one file called editor.js and pasting the code over here I am trying to change the name of this function giving it as editor but it is showing error um, let me quickly change the name of the editor I am giving it as f and editor and saving it also I am, I am also I am changing the name here f and editor and clicking the save button now let's go to the app.js and uh, remove all the code and here give our class the file name which we have created f and editor and slash and close that and save this and now let's go to that react app and let's refresh the page oh uh, this showing the site can't reach let me quickly go to the visual studio i think we have forgot to rerun the application let's open a new terminal and start our project npm start and it will take some time to start our project be patient and once it will open that okay oh here it is showing some error tinyMC.react cannot be resolved okay let me quickly go to that editor like in the code um, here I think we forgot to import the project so I'm just quickly importing the project to the react but we don't have the command right so let me quickly go to that tiny MC page and try to find the, the code here so um, where we can find that import code okay uh, let's open this tiny usage here we don't find anything uh, yeah in the bottom we can find the docs we can go there and in the left hand side we can try checking with the react name if we find any okay here we can find the search for then search react and we can find the tiny mc react integration let's open that and here we can find the installation command right quickly copy that and go to the visual studio and paste that hit the enter button it will take some time to actually import the tiny mc editor and we can now open our react project i'm refreshing that okay finally we got the editor page that's nice that's good work so let's try to edit something over here i'm giving some text hello world and uh, if i want to make this text to bold like enable to or i want to add any italic it doesn't work why okay let me select this and if i want to change to italic underline or if i want to cross line that we can able to do that right so that's fine uh, now we can actually here able to add the tables and if you want to add any links we can give the url here and the title over here and to display the name which we actually want to display let me close this and if you want to add any numberings we can add any bullet points we can add 
or any check boxes if you want we can add if you want add any line spacing also we can do here right so that's fine that's a good thing from the tiny mc if you want to align the content to the left center right we can able to do over here okay this everything looks good we have successfully imported the tiny mc to our react project but what if we want to save this content to the backend side so for that we can discuss that part in the later coming videos so if you want to see much more content like this please subscribe this channel and hit the like button and the bell icon of this channel to get more videos from this channel so thank you guys that's it for the video thank you for watching